Hello and welcome to Shopping with Dr. Ekberg. I'm just going to talk a little bit about oils today. So for the last 50 years, all we have ever heard is that saturated fats are bad and polyunsaturated fats are good. Well, it's not quite that simple. The other thing we've heard is that vegetable fats are good and animal fats are bad. And that's not true either. What is true is natural fats are good for you and processed fats are bad for you. Another distinction we want to make when it comes to oils is the ratio of omega-3 to omega-6s. Omega-3 oils uh, are truly vegetable oils. Those are uh, anti-inflammatory, whereas omega-6 oils are pro-inflammatory. And all this, the oils that we typically call vegetable oils are actually not vegetable oils. They're seed oils and grain oils such as soy, corn, and canola, are, those are not vegetable oils. They are omega-6 oils and therefore pro-inflammatory. So we want to base our consumption on vegetable, which means things like avocado and olive. Uh, another great choice is a coconut oil, because even though it is saturated, it is extremely healthy. It contains a very large, as much as 60% of short-chain fatty acids that are excellent sources of energy and that create no inflammation at all. So this would be the worst of the worst. This is what they call a vegetable, but it's actually made from beans. And then it's shortening, which means that they have hydrogenated it. This is pure poison. It is right up there with, with pesticides and heavy metals in terms of toxicity. It screws up your cell membranes, it interferes with everything in your body. Then we have the second worst, which is extremely cheap, highly processed soybean oil. Uh, we want to definitely stay away. They're pro-inflammatory and they're not really good for anything. Same thing with corn oil extremely highly processed. Uh, corn oil has to be extracted with solvents. It tastes terrible so they have to bleach it and take every form of nutrient and flavor out of it before they can use it. And that's why these things are so cheap. Then we have something called vegetable oil and then when we look what it is um, we see soybean. So again it's not a vegetable oil, it's a from a legume. And canola, same thing. It's not a vegetable oil, it's an omega-6 oil. Now here we come to one of my uh, marginal oils. This is what I use to make mayonnaise. I make my own mayonnaise because I want something that is light in flavor but that's not an omega-6 oil. So even though this is not the best, I wouldn't consider it a super healthy, it's also not a terrible choice. It is an omega-3 oil, but it is also processed to some degree. That's why I use it in moderation, but I wouldn't consider it for, for cooking or eating on a regular basis. And then we get to the good stuff. So here is extra virgin olive oil. Uh, this is a good choice and the only thing that we, you want that is better is to make sure that it's organic and you will spend a couple of dollars more for organic but this is still an in incredibly inexpensive foods. Uh, you get thousands of calories you have 15,000 calories approximately in one of these bottles for $15. So it's not going to break your budget. So you want to spend a few dollars more on getting a high quality oil because toxins and pesticides and hormones are fat soluble. So anything that you eat a concentrated source of fat is also going to have a concentrated source of toxins. So get the purest you can, spend a little bit more, and again, this is still very, very inexpensive. 
And here we go with coconut oil, which is the most heat-stable, healthy oil there is. So for all your cooking, as much as possible, you want to use coconut oil. It's an excellent choice. Uh, cook your vegetables in it. Use coconut oil. And what we don't see here is the other good fat is butter, but you want to make sure that it is grass-fed because if the cows are fed grass, they have a healthy ratio between omega-3s and omega-6s, whereas if they're corn-fed, like most of them are, then they're gonna have a much higher ratio of omega-6s, which is pro-inflammatory. So I hope this helps. I hope this helps. Check out our future videos and our other videos on fat, and we will talk more about these things.